Thank you very much, Wendy, and I really appreciate that uh, you're all here joining in this uh, live webinar. And then also some of you will be joining later on listening to the recording. And thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to learn about this very important topic of soft skills. And I want you to know that you can be a superhero. Yes, you can be a superhero if you learn about these soft skills. So let's get into it. First of all, I wanted to mention that this this graphic here was done by one of my friends, Glenn Whitmore. He created this graphic for the presentation. He's a professional comic book artist. He uses his soft skills to sell the work that he does and to market the work that he does. He's worked on major superhero licenses, and he owns CaptainClockwork.com, where you can find more about him and the work that he's done. As you could tell by this photo here on this page, uh, Glenn didn't use my likeness to create the character here in the foreground. <laughs> but this is a lot of great things here to think about how we can be superpowers, superheroes with the use of soft skills. So if we looked at uh, Wikipedia, we could see that there's lots of different aspects to soft skills and what they could be. So, you know, here's just a a sample of some of them, you know, communication, leadership, teamwork, interpersonal skills, courtesy, integrity, flexibility, positive attitude. You know, this is just a, a small list of things that we think about when we think about soft skills. And, um, you know, one of the things that I'm hoping that you'll do is you'll take part in this presentation by typing things in the chat. Can you think of any other soft skills that would be listed here or might have been missed on this list or any that you think are really important on this list? Go ahead and type them in the chat. I like to see people participating in the chat here. So thank you very much for joining. I see that uh, we got Mark out there. Yes, I'm glad that he joined. I've listened to his presentations before. Now he's listening to mine. So any thoughts that you have, put them in the chat about soft skills, what you think they are, or some aspects of them. I'd like to see your input. If we tied these all together, what would you say would be a good summary for what soft skills are? Yes, I see someone put there empathy, self-awareness. Self-awareness is a really big one when we talk about emotional quotient. Yep, negotiating, yep. Soft skills are a big part in, in negotiating. Very good. If we think about all these soft skills and we try to group them into, you know, maybe an overarching definition, we would maybe use the term people skills, right? They're dealing with people. They're all dealing with people. That's what soft skills are all about. And maybe it would help us a little bit to define them better if we think about maybe what the opposite or what, maybe soft skills are not, and we call that hard skills, right? So hard skills would be things like uh, knowledge around a certain topic, like maybe project management would be a hard skill, or, or knowing a programming language like Python or something, or, or knowing how to be a scrum master or a safe agilist, you know? So those parts of how to carry things out in processes and defining certain areas of skills that have to do with like book learning, we, we probably a lot of times would call them hard skills. Soft skills are different in that they're people skills. And I, I see some people there chatting, that's really great. Understanding what other functional areas do, empowerment and the delegation. Oh my, delegation is a really big soft skill. I think we're gonna talk about that here as a matter of fact. So let me tell you a little story around soft skills. I was a project manager that oversaw several other project managers. And one day Tom came to me and said, Henry, we're having a problem with one of the clients that I'm dealing with. I'm going to visit him to find out what the situation is to try to figure out why we're having these issues. So he went to visit the client and he came back. And in my office on my whiteboard, 
he drew a gigantic letter C. He said, Henry, the problem is the big C. Can you guys guess what, and gals, can you guess what the big C is? Type it in the chat if you think you know what the big C is. And if some of you have been to my presentations, you know, I see that Zach typed communication, how true. Communication, the big C, that is the problem that we were having with this client. And soft skills, because they are dealing with communication, communication is one of the most important parts of soft skills. And communication is bi-directional between two people. We can talk, think about it in different ways, but one of the things that we want to think about with communication is that it's a big part of what we do in the work that we do, depending on our roles. But for those of you that are like scrum masters or project managers, actually this is a question that sometimes is on the PMP, the project management professional exam for that certification. I'm not going to give away the answer, but what percentage of the work that we do is communication. Well, in that profession of project management, they say it's a very big part. I'm not going to give away the answer to the exam, but I can tell you right now it's more than 90%. It's a big amount of time that we spend on communications. They're very important. And we could talk about how, you know, some people will say the good Lord gave us two ears and one mouth. We should use them in that proportion. <laughs> You know, communication is not just talking to people and sending emails or messages or texting. Communication is also receiving, too. It's active listening. It's being about asking the right questions and listening to the answers. It's showing empathy, which I saw people have typed that in there, too. Right, and somebody mentioned the charter. The project charter is something that is a good communication tool. So let me go on and talk to you a little bit, a little bit more about some stories that I went into. Um, first of all, about asking. Sometimes asking the right questions is the way that we get some good input and help to understand the perspective of the other person. If you notice there, I've got a quote from Voltaire, judge a man by his questions rather than his answers. It's important that we know how to ask the right questions because by asking the right questions, uh, we can get to understanding what the other person, what their perspective is. We can get a better understanding of what their perspective is, their viewpoint, and maybe get to the bottom of why we do have some communication issues. So it's very important to ask the right questions. It also shows empathy because when we ask questions, people realize that we care about what they think. And by asking the right questions, you can go and read. Hi there, I hope you enjoyed that last clip. My name is Michael Maloudis, and if you'd like to watch the full 60 minutes of that last webcast, while also gaining complete unlimited access to our entire library of IT learning, simply visit our subscribe page at greatpro.org slash subscribe. Unlimited annual access is $199 per year, but if you use the coupon code learn to earn you can drop that membership fee to just $149. That's less than $13 per month for unlimited access to over 1,000 hours of on-demand career development, covering the entire spectrum of IT management best practices, including business analysis and requirements, software development, quality and testing, risk management, process improvement, project management, and even digital transformation. But your membership doesn't just give you unlimited access to our vast learning library. You also get free access to our mobile app, as well as direct access to our network of over 300 of the world's leading IT consultants, all of whom are dedicated to putting practical knowledge at your fingertips so that you can learn more and earn more. I hope you will join me in becoming a member of the great IT professional and advancing your career with us. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button above so that you get notified whenever we publish new free webcasts each week of the year. Thank you for your time and best wishes for your continued success.